to this afternoon's Essential Elements Schools to Watch Assembly. And thanks to Mr. Myers and our TCMS Jazz Ensemble for playing as we entered. Let's give them another round of applause. Also, thanks to Mr. Dave Luce, our head custodian, for all the work he did and his staff did to help set up the cafeteria for our reception and the auditorium for today's assembly. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Mall and her string ensemble who played during the reception, and Mrs. Sarah Harris for all of her help in organizing today's event. Before we get started with today's celebration, I ask that you please stand and join the TCMS show choir in the singing of our national anthem. <laughs> like to take a moment and introduce the school and community representatives with us today that support us along with our special guests who will be offering their congratulatory remarks. First, our student council, President Lake Nakutala, Vice President Maya Seltzer Clinton, Treasurer Josie Hastings, and Secretary Ben Kazel. Rock, Mr. Matt Tappan, from French Road, Dr. Allison Rio, and from Brighton High School, Dr. Tom Hall. <laughs> Our middle school PTSA, Stasha Rush, Leslie Seltzer, who is also on the planning team, Christina Pearson, also on the planning team. <laughs> Additional planning team members include Mrs. Maria Hill and Mrs. Maria Consetos. Our schools to watch parent forum included Manish Dixon, Mona Samersky, and Becky Picol. Thanks for being here. To my right, from our central office staff, Assistant Superintendent Mr. Lou Alimo, Director of Student Services Carolyn Rabideau, and Assistant Superintendent Dr. Debbie Baker. From our Board of Education, Karen Hatch, Dr. Mark Sachs, Julian Gilbert, and Andrew Costanza. And finally, our speakers today. Brighton Town Supervisor Bill Maley is not here yet. We're hoping he arrives, and when he does, you won't miss him. He'll be the tallest person in the room. Also, our Monroe County Legislator, Justin Wilcox. <laughs> New York State Senator, Joe Robach. Brighton Board of Education President, Mark Kakanovich. Brighton Superintendent, Dr. Kevin McGowan. And representing the New York State Education Department, Mr. Joel Weiss. I would also like to 
like to thank and recognize assistant principals Dr. Malloy and Ms. Falling who are with you in the audience today. Thanks to both of you. Today we are celebrating our fourth redesignation as an essential element schools to watch. That means it's five times in a row that we've earned this designation. We were originally designated in 2006 and then redesignated in 2009, 2012, and 2015. But what exactly is this award all about? Well, watch this video and you'll find out. School and congratulations on being redesignated as an essential element schools to watch. I'm Josie. I'm Lakina. I'm Ben. And I'm Maya, and we are your TCMS Student Council Officers. Today we want to tell you just what it means to be a schools to watch. The Schools to Watch program recognizes schools that are exemplars for the implementation of the State Education Department's essential elements of standard focused middle level schools and programs. This program is grounded in research and the wisdom of practice and reflects what is best for the young adolescent learners like us, both academically and personally. We have received this recognition five consecutive times covering the last 12 years. The banners hanging in the atrium and the showcase outside the auditorium are places where you can see the proof of our accomplishment. This program requires that our school must be re-evaluated in order to be redesignated every three years, ensuring that we remain models for other middle-level schools seeking to improve. That's why we have so many visitors in our classes. New York is one of 18 states across the country that are a part of this program, and we are one of only 33 middle schools in New York who have earned this honor from over 900 school districts. With the support of our teachers, families, and community, along with our own hard work and positive behavior, we've been able to earn this recognition. In fact, we are tied with six other schools who have earned this award five times in New York. Congratulations, TCMS, and keep up the good work. I think one of the reasons Twelfth Quarters Middle School is great is because of the amount of advancement options for your education. I think what makes Twelfth Quarters Middle School such a great school is the fact that it, like, it's super diverse and it's really easy to make friends in the school. I like Twelfth Quarters because the sports teams are really fun. We like TCMS because we get to go to Washington, D.C. I like Twelfth Quarters because all the teachers are really kind. Some things I like about Twelfth Quarters Middle School are the clubs and the music programs. I like TCMS because of the community. Um, there are lots of different types of people with different interests and backgrounds. I like Twelve Corners Middle School because everyone here is so welcoming. I like TCMS because of all the great people and teachers here. I like TCMS because it offers a lot of really cool opportunities for the students. Personally, I enjoy being a part of Academic Challenge Bowl and being a part of the school sports teams. I like TCMS because my mom works here. Mr. Eric Bruner, who's standing right over here for making this video. And for all the students who are part of it, I have found a better consequence than detention. It's filming you and then putting your film on in front of your entire school. Thanks so much, guys. You did a great job. Nothing to be embarrassed or shy about.
Now please welcome our superintendent, Dr. Kevin McGowan, who will make a few remarks. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. So this is a little bit of a, a kind of a pep rally like you're going to have in high school. It's a celebration of your school, so we should start it out right. So repeat after me. T C M S. T C M S. T C M S. T C M S. One more time. T C M S. T C M S. Come on, Leo, I can't hear you. Okay, we'll try one more thing. It's like a high school pep rally. Prepare you eighth graders for next year. When I point to your section, clap just once. And I'll point to another section. Your section's out if I don't point to you and you clap. You ready? Point to this one first. Clap once. One more practice, ready? This is for you, for your accomplishment. Okay, now everybody. Paul Corners, you have a great amount of spirit. You're an incredible group of people. Take one moment to turn around and look at the staff members who are here and all of you, those of you watching this on TV in your homerooms, clap for all of them, please, and thank you. I'm going to make it quick because Mr. Thomas has promised lunch detentions for all the people on the stage, and I don't want to have to do that with Senator Robach for very, very many times. Here's the deal. A school is a building, it is bricks, it is plaster, it is mortar, it is the desks you sit in, that's fine, it's a building. But a school community, and a school community like yours, is only what it is, and it is only, only excellent, and recognized for its excellence, when it has people like you, as students, and people like the staff members that are working with you. That's a pretty special place that you're able to attend every day, when it's being recognized as one of the best in the state, the best in the nation, and one that everybody else would like to be like. That's what a Schools to Watch is. So congratulations to you. We are so proud of you. I'm proud to be a dad here, and I'm proud to work with you. I'm proud of the, the kids that my kids get to school, get, go to school with, and the teachers that they get to work with. You are a school to watch. Give yourselves one more round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McGowan. And now please welcome our Board of Education President, Mr. Mark Kukanovich. Good. I don't plan to work the crowd like Dr. McGowan, but on behalf of the Board of Education, uh, I would like to just share a quick few words. We are so proud of all of you, and all parents, our staff, our teachers, our administrators, our cafeteria workers, our bus drivers, our students. I mean, this takes, if you look at this accomplishment over this period of time since 2006, it doesn't happen automatically doesn't happen easily. It's hard work that happens every single day. So congratulations and thank you all. And I do want to share one thing that hit me this morning as I, as I was thinking about our day, which is a day of celebration in Brighton. It's a wonderful thing. Um, I've been a board member 12 years. At every one of these events that we've redesignated and in our, and in our initial award, our late great Congresswoman Louise Slaughter attended every one, I believe, Rob. And Louise was such a supporter of not only Brighton, but of K-12 public education in this country and in this state. And to honor her, I want to just share quickly. I would come up to her at this event and say, welcome Louise, thanks for coming. And she would always say, you all do a great job here in Brighton. Every single time. Well, you all do a great job in Brighton. We all do, and thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Kukanovich. And now please welcome our Monroe County Legislator, Mr. Justin Wilcox. Uh, thank you, Principal Thomas, for allowing me the opportunity to be here today on this very special occasion. Um, congratulations to the entire TCMS team on receiving the Essential Elements Schools to Watch recognition for the fifth consecutive time. This is really no small feat. This is a prestigious recognition. The granting of this award demonstrates your commitment and dedication to an educational program that exhibits academic excellence as well as character building. It's no secret that Brighton values education. 
In fact, that's why my wife and I decided to raise our children here. My daughter Evelyn and my son Brennan both attended TCMS. They, like all the students that fall under your care, benefited immensely from the examples that you set. The faculty and staff here exemplify the Brighton values of integrity, respect, responsibility, kindness, and self-control. I can personally attest to this because I've seen it and I've experienced it. And they know that education is a key that opens the door to opportunity. But that academic excellence is not the only piece of their overall mission. And that personal development is just as important. So that was for the adults in the room, the teachers, the faculty, the staff, PTSA, board members. This is for the students. The faculty, the staff, the administrators, your parents, the school board, the PTSA, are all part of the Brighton family that is working very hard to ensure you get the best educational experience possible. They strive for excellence, and as demonstrated by this award, they've achieved it. They should serve as a shining example to all of you. And even though you don't know it yet, opportunities are already on your horizon because of them. So will you please join me and give them one round of applause. Thank you, Mr. Wilcox. Now, take it away, Mr. Myers, and the TCMS Jazz Ensemble. St. Thomas. So uh, thanks for uh, playing that one for us. Now please welcome New York State Senator, Mr. Joe Robot. Thank you very much. I am honored and delighted to be here. And really, uh, let me thank everybody, the administration, the faculty, the board, the parents, most of all you students. I say this all the time. The education engine in Brighton runs on all cylinders, everybody does a great job, and that's why you have such great outcomes. Uh, I literally, we are, I want you kids to hear this too, and parents, no state spends more money in K through 12 education than New York, because we want you to do well. And exactly the outcomes you're getting, and what goes right on here at TCMS, is exactly what we envision. You are really become the best of the best, and not just recently, a legacy of great student outcomes 
character, all those things that really, as everyone has set up here, is going to make your life a lot better as you go forward. I, I brag about you, whether Bright School District, TCMS, whether it's the state of education, my other colleagues from across the state, you really are doing a wonderful job and you should be very, very proud of yourselves and keep up the great work. You can give yourself a hand that soon. And I just want to end with one thing too, that you know, now that you're going from middle school to high school, you've done great, but this is just the jumping off point. There's still more work to go, but keep doing it with the great, great spirit and the great, great accomplishment you had here at middle school. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs>
not sure. I'm not sure if there's an opposite to unfurl. Maybe furl. If you would furl the banner back up, please. And then once you have furled it, if it's a word, I'll ask you to come back up along with Mr. Thomas. Not only are you good unfurlers, you're good furlers. Don't sit down. It is my pleasure on behalf of Mary Beth Casey, Schools to Watch State Director, and Mary Ellen Elia, Commissioner of Education for New York State, to present to you New York State Education Department, 12 Corners Middle School, being designated a Schools to Watch 2018. Thanks so much. Give him another round of applause. As a Brighton administrator, Brighton parent, and Brighton graduate, I am extremely honored to be part of this middle school and even more proud of our students. I've told this story a number of times. You know my, my dad was a kindergartner in this building. I went through Brighton schools, as did my three brothers and three sisters. And my wife and I, our three kids, went through Brighton schools, and we could be prouder to be part of this community. But I'm extremely honored that you're here, because it's because of the students at this school that we get recognized. We have great teachers. We have great uh, support all around us in the community with parents and administrators, Board of Education, and, and, and so on. But it's because of the work that you do, your dedication to your studies, your compassion towards your peers, that make this uh, uh, school so great. You know how important it is to work hard, but the way you treat each other every day and help your friends get through problems big and small is a true test of your character and an even more important measure of success. You may not remember a grade or a test score, but you will remember your friends and teachers who made a difference in your life. Continue to show respect, responsibility, kindness, integrity, self-control, and always let the people that matter most to you know when you need help along the way. In a moment, you're going to be heading home, but before you do, let's give everybody another big round of applause. I want to thank all of your teachers, school counselors, our support staff that make the difference for our essential elements, schools to watch, 12 Corners Middle School. Thanks for attending today's assembly.